Welcome to our tutorial on Software Ideas Modeler. In this episode, we're diving into the world of UML diagrams, specifically focusing on creating a simple use case diagram. Before we begin, let's briefly discuss the purpose of a UML use case diagram. It serves to illustrate the system's functional requirements and how users interact with it. This visual representation helps stakeholders understand the system's behavior, making it an essential step in software development and system analysis. Today, we'll create a use case diagram for an online shopping system. This practical example will help us grasp the concepts and components of a use case diagram. First, navigate to the Insert tab located in the ribbon at the top of the Software Ideas Modeler interface. Look for the first button in the project group labeled Insert to Project. This is a drop-down button. Click on it and select Add New Diagram from the drop-down menu. This action opens the New Diagram dialog. Here, you'll select the Use Case Diagram type. Enter the name Online Shopping System for our diagram and click on the OK button. This process effectively creates a new Use Case Diagram canvas where we'll map out our online shopping system's interactions and functionalities. Let's add the actors. Locate the toolbox on the left side. Find the Actor tool within the toolbox. Click on it, then drag and drop it onto the diagram canvas. We'll name this actor Customer. Following this, we'll add two more actors in the same manner, named Guest and Admin. These actors represent the different users who interact with our online shopping system. Now let's add some use cases related to the Customer actor. Select the Customer actor. Then, click on the Add Use Case button in the context bar below. A field will appear where you can enter the text Browse Items and confirm it by pressing Enter. We'll repeat this process to add more use cases, Add to Cart, Checkout, and Write Review. The Browse Items use case is also applicable to guests. To illustrate this, we use the Association tool from the toolbox. Click on it, then drag from the Guest Actor to the Browse Items use case, creating a connection. Additionally, we'll add Register and Login as use cases for the guest actor. Next, let's focus on the admin actor. We add manage products and manage orders as their use cases, demonstrating the admin's responsibilities in the system. Now let's explore two important relationships in use case diagrams, include and extend. First, select the checkout use case. Click on the include button in the context bar. This action inserts a new use case connected by an include relationship. Name it, make payment. The include relationship signifies that one use case is inherently part of another's flow and cannot exist independently. Lastly, we'll demonstrate adding an extension. Select the Extend Relationship tool from the toolbox. Connect the Write Review use case to the Checkout use case. This represents that the Write Review use case can add steps to checkout under specific conditions, yet both can exist independently. The extend relationship highlights optional functionalities that aren't required for the main use case to be complete. In this tutorial, we've covered the basics of creating a use case diagram in Software Ideas Modeler, shown on an online shopping system. By understanding actors, use cases, and relationships, you can effectively represent system functionalities and user interactions. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials on Software Ideas Modeler where we continue to explore its powerful diagramming capabilities.